Hey everybody, welcome to Lander's Corner. This is where we bring together things from our experience with stage four cancer and how we overcome it from a caregiver's perspective, from the patient's perspective, and uh, what, what we do. Behind us is the Lander's Corner building. It's uh, our, our version of the health food store on the things that we use, we believe in. And on this channel, you will be seeing the things that we apply to our lives. And that's going to be from dietary, spiritual, mental, physical, everything that you can think of to fight cancer and overcome, we're gonna do it here. So we got a lot of awesome interviews coming up from, from the best in the world, so stay tuned. From the very, very beginning of our journey, I've been open and honest about everything that we have experienced. And uh, so in doing so, I get a lot of questions as to what are we applying and what are we not doing. And when, when I get those questions, the first thing that I always, always start with is you got to cut out the junk. And what is the junk? Well, that's going to be sugar, flowers, bleached, processed, and vegetable oils, okay? So this is in everything we eat and a lot of things have got two or all three of them in there and when you cut out these you cut out a lot of other things that uh, kind of get deep that we'll, we'll get into later but this is the main thing there, there's nothing good about these these things that there, there's nothing that benefits you right here okay so the sugar the sugar if when we look back into Otto Warmberg is a, a scientist from a long time ago that said hey Cancer feeds itself, feeds different than other cells. Sugar, sugar feeds cancer. That's, it's something that can be debated, but it, sugar feeds cancer. All right, so we don't want cancer. Do, no. We don't want sugar, no. do we? <laughs> okay, this is gonna be an, I mean everything. So drinks, sauces, you, it's in everything. The flour is another one that we avoid. We avoid it a lot. We don't, we don't like the flour. The flour is going to be full of things like gluten that a lot of people have issues with. It's uh, digested very, very quickly, so it's gonna boost your, your blood sugar. There's just not really anything good about it. So that's another thing that we just get rid of in our diet. Uh, the other one, Vegetable oils. Vegetable oils are loaded with your omega-6s. The omega-6 ratio that we, we have now in the modern diet, has uh, it, it's going to lead to a lot of health problems. We don't want it either. So what do we do? If we can't eat three things that are in everything, what do we do? All right, I'm glad you asked. One, the best thing that we can do is eat whole foods. So things that the ingredient list, if it was to have, it's going to say cucumber. It's easy. It's not loaded up with a thousand different things that you can't even pronounce. Carrot, avocado, watermelon, lemons, things that are one ingredient, whole food. There's lots of things that we don't even understand all the good stuff that's in them. So even, even though there's more to it. You got to wash it, you clean it. It's not as easy, but it's still very easy, very healthy. We do a lot of stuff with cucumbers and carrots and stuff, don't we? On, on some of the fruits, we don't want to overdo that because that's super sugary. We've already covered that. It's, it's a little different, but it's still sugar. There's good things in there. We can, we can look in that. Um, all right, that's probably your favorite thing, isn't it? Bars. Bars aren't your favorite? The watermelon is your favorite? All right, well, watermelon is good. Bars are another easy way that we've found that you can be on the go. You can have something that meets a lot of uh, the things that you need. So one of our favorite is definitely the Bulletproof Bars. It's got collagen in it. It's not necessarily his, late, his favorite, but the collagen is very important. It's something that we don't have in our modern diet. Of, then we've got IQ bars. IQ bars, that's probably your favorite of the bars, isn't it? Yummy. Yeah. So these, these are plant-based bars. They're not uh, high. They, 
in, in, in anything. So it's gonna be keto, paleo, friendly, and vegan. You like these bars? Yeah. Not really that one. You don't like or the matcha? <laughs> All right. With Lander specifically, I have got to be very, very, very careful on the amount of protein that he gets. So he only has one kidney. That's where mm -hmm. the cancer originated was uh, he had Wilms. Cancer originated in the kidney, uh, formed a cantaloupe-sized tumor. So the tumor was like literally this big. Uh, had it removed and... Uh, it was that big? It was big, yes. That's crazy. It, it, it was, yes, it was crazy. So, the protein. He's only got one kidney that's processing all of this, and we gotta be careful. So we, we don't overdo the bars or anything like that. Another one of the favorite snacks, and what's really cool about uh, the food scene is they are really manufacturers are really getting uh, more in tune to getting things that are healthier, they're produced better, the uh, products they source to put in there are better, they're higher quality. So all of that's really important and I've seen a big shift even over the last year or so of getting more of that. There's gonna be products from DNX, it's Daily Nutrition, that I have absolutely fallen in love with. So all the beef and buffalo they have is 100% grass fed. All the products they put in there are organic. They meet uh, the, the paleo, the Whole30, all of those uh, kind of designations. So it's really cool. A uh, big, big thing with this is uh, it has got collagen in it too. So it's a snack without the preservatives and things that cause problems. And then it's got your boosted collagen that we just don't get in. So you like these bars, don't you? These are jerky sticks, but they're also bars. It's a jerky stick, it is. A jerky bar stick. All right, another one that I am super, super happy with is a peely nut. This is a nut that's out of the Philippines and uh, comes in a couple mm -hmm. different flavors. What I like about this is it's extremely high fat, which for us and what we want to do, that we go for that. We go for high fat. So as he was going through chemo and things, he didn't have an appetite. So how, how do we get that? How do we overcome making sure that he's eating, he's getting enough calories, he's getting enough in. So Peely Nut fit the bill on a lot of things. It tastes amazing, kind of a, a cross between a cashew and a macadamia nut. And this is a chocolate Peely Nut. And of course he goes for the chocolate is, one. Yeah, this is kind of actually the best kind. The best kind. I like so these it, two. It has cacao in it. And um, so, again, when we get we go farther into that with some of the dietitians and nutritionists, uh, we'll understand what the polyphenols and plant chemicals that are good for health do but I'm gonna give him some of these so you can see them he he loves he loves the peely nut so it's just covered in raw cacao they're absolutely delicious you wanna eat them so high fat delicious nuts this is a spicy one probably my favorite uh -huh. and then uh, rosemary again it's just trying to find these snacks because we are always on the go how do we get good quality things that are healthy and they're easy because I don't think any of us have enough time. Another one that I have to limit him because he'll he'll overdo Sugar these. free cookies. Sugar free cookies. We have so, two more in there. So we've got Snickerdoodle, mm -hmm. uh, a chocolate chip, and a peanut butter chocolate chip. Mm -hmm. And again, another reason that I love this product, they have got some collagen in there. So it's high fat, it's a way to get that sweet tooth fix and so on this whole premise that I'm talking about is I had a hard time finding these things. I was online, I was researching, I was ordering things, I was trying to get it in there. How do we, ha and then, and then cross-referencing, is it actually a good product? What is, what's going on? So as I have become convinced that these are what we need to be eating, we brought it together. We put it in this little blue building, Lander's Corner. Lander's Corner. Because we wanted to be able to share it and share our experience and how we have gone. I, we're, we're right at a, a year anniversary of his diagnosis. So it's been, God's answered a whole lot of prayers, but we've been through it in the last year and he's done good. I really, really believe in these things. Mm 
Another way to kind of get that sweet fix is uh, kombucha. You've got to be super careful with the kombucha. A lot of the commercial ones that you find in the store are absolutely loaded, loaded with sugar. This is a local company for us in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, that uh, it's, it's a good friend of mine, Nathan Brown. He's got tea berry kombucha. He does amazing, amazing work, and it's a lot lower. There's typically around six grams of sugar per serving, but it is a live kombucha, meaning it has all kinds of alive bugs. So the lactobacillus, things that you hear about in yogurt or probiotics that you need to be having. Well, you've got, you've got different forms of, of bacteria in here and, and yeast. He loves it. It's a little bit uh, bubbly, so it's like it's a carbonated drink. So it's a kind of a good transition to slowly get away from Coke and, and other soft drinks. He loves it. We've got to be careful. I was uh, cautioned about Lander having this during chemo because of a decreased immune system and the potential for having candida in kombucha. So that's something that you, you, you've got to make sure that you uh, are, are always in communications with your oncologist uh, if, if you're undergoing any sort of treatments like that. But here's some ideas, hopefully this helps, give some it's, it is overwhelming, but there's a lot of things that we can do and, and snacks that we can have. Always the first line is get, get whole, get whole foods. Just, uh, and we've got some recipes. Uh, we link back to a cucumber recipe that we did on a previous episode. It's one of your favorites, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's just there's some vinegar and seasonings. You can, you can find that on, uh, on a previous episode. Thanks for joining us today. If you like what you've seen, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Follow along as we bring in more guests that uh, know more than I do and can give you better, better specifics on that. Follow along as we go through his journey as how we're combating this, the side effects of, uh, of everything that he's been through because it's a lifelong thing for us. So click that little subscribe button, ring that bell as we fight and learn how to beat cancer. Thanks.